It's looking patchy. Wait a minute. Um, I normally leave the nose. Wow. Look at that. Oh no. Oh my God. This is annoying. What if I had somewhere to go? Look at that. When I turn, look at that. I'll tell you right now, this is not my most favorite makeup look at all. We're just doing a lot of things today that uh, I'm not a fan of. <laughs> Let's play in some new makeup because I have way too many things that I realize I have not touched yet. Some of this stuff is brand spanking new. Some of this stuff has been around for a little bit, but we are gonna play in all of it, okay? I have not done a video like this in a while, so I am excited to play in some new stuff. It's just so easy to just get wrapped up in using the same stuff again and again. It's time for something new, you know? I hate that I don't have a link for this e.l.f. Cosmetics Lock On Lip Primer because it is life for me, okay? I always use lip primer, very, very important. It's a must, okay? I've already dampened my sponge. This is an e.l.f. Cosmetics sponge. I will link a video on how and why I dampen my sponges and how to make sure it's damp and not soaked. I'll link that below, make sure you watch that. To prime the face, what do we have? Okay, I've got this new primer here from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It is a power grip primer with 4% niacinamide. I've already done my skincare and my SPF, so I don't know about putting this on afterward. This is the stuff that kills me. This primer has skincare products or skincare ingredients in it, which is a niacinamide. But to put that on top of my skincare, meaning the SPF part of my skincare, I just don't know. This is supposed to grip makeup and help even skin tone. Oh, it does feel, oh yeah, it does feel like tacky a little bit. I don't know how this is gonna interact with my SPF. This is what be killing me. I already don't feel like this is going to mattify me and perhaps that's not what it's supposed to do. You feel me? If you've tried this primer, let me know. All right, so let's let this get tacky for a second. I wanna use this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finish Loose Powder, but I don't know if that, no, I'm not gonna put that on top of this because I wanna just see how the foundation works on top of this before this being separate, okay? I'm talking you through my thought process because all this is important as you're applying your makeup. This is just key. Like if you're just throwing on your makeup and not thinking this stuff through, like, come on, please. Like, please, I'm begging you. I never use these Tula Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tints with SPF 30 in them. So I wanna do it now. If you've ever used this, let me know. I've got two shades, 29 and 28. So 28 is deep neutral cool. And then 29 is deep cool. I feel like I will be 28 just by going by the box. But let's see. So I guess the saving grace with this is that it, this one does have SPF in it. Now the thing about SPF is I'm gonna apply this to my face. Okay, good. I was like, is it gonna splash everywhere? Hopefully it doesn't. This color looks amazing. Wow. This color looks good. The thing about SPF is in order to actually get the full SPF 30 out of this product or any product, you've got to use an ample amount of said product. So you got to use a lot. Wow, this is really, okay. Either this is really creamy or it's feeling like it has a tug because of the primer. I don't know. Can you try this? Let me know. Huh. Okay, I'm getting the neutral out of this. Wow. It's matching very lovely. It feels very creamy. I have to try this without the primer and see if that's truly how it is. But I actually like the creaminess of it because it's giving a bit of a tug. And this is like gripping. This is, yeah, it's gotta be the primer. It's gripping in such a nice way. Wow. And this is a skin tint? Yeah. Now, because it's it's giving that tug, I'm pouncing as opposed to wiping. This is really giving me a tug in a good way. So wiping is just not gonna work. And I want it to apply in a full coverage way. This looks great. And this color is phenomenal. I'm gonna hang on to 29 for the summertime because that will match me well. Wow. Wow, this looks amazing. Come in, let me know what you think. Definitely giving me medium coverage now I look at it because I have a blemish right here that I can still see. Can you? I mean, it's not the end of the world. And of course, you can still see the pigmentation in my brows from my microblading, not a problem. This looks really good. For a skin tint, this is giving me amazing coverage and I freaking love how this looks. I'm blown away. This face is looking very, very dewy and juicy. If you have dry skin or just like to look naturally glowy and juicy, you're gonna enjoy this for sure. I also have this Kulfi, is it how you say it? Kulfi, Kulfi concealer that I wanna try. The shade is Lychee Licks. Let's see what this one's talking about. Yep, this shade is great. Nice and light. If you've tried this product, let me 
know because I haven't heard much about it. All right, Dampen's Beauty Sponge. Here we go. Pressing from the middle of the eye, then out toward the outside or toward the hairline. Okay, pouncing, pouncing, pouncing. And little by little, we are blending out the lines of demarcation. See how that faded so nicely into the hairline? Don't want it to be so pronounced. Don't want there to be, again, any lines of demarcation. Starting in the middle here, making my way outward. And little by little, I'm going in circle of motions in a way because I just don't want there to be any harsh lines. And now I'm going to pounce this onto the paper towel in front of me to take off the product because I don't want to add any more to right here because I did apply a lot of concealer, which is what I like to do. You feel me? And now pinching this in and getting the side of the nose like so. Okay, so I pulled back my hair ties. While I still let it dry, I had to pull out the edges because we're gonna do the contour right now. So for contour, I have this product. I know that this is new. I believe it's new. I think it's new. <laughs> this is from Say Beauty and this is the shade Dark Bronze. I did do a campaign with Sephora using this product. I used the other shade that was a little bit lighter in that video because I was going for a super natural sculpt, but I want to really sculpt this face today. So I'm using this darker shade that I did have on hand and this looks juicy. It's reminding me of the LYS bronzer and the color worthy. Very, very juicy. So this is a Rare Beauty foundation brush and I'm taking some of the product like so. I like how it's not so loose that a lot comes out right away, but enough will come out on this brush off rip. So here we are and we are building this up. Very deep, very beautiful. If you've used this product, I want you to comment and let me know. Like I said, this shade is the first time I'm using this shade and I like it. It is nice and dark because if I look at how the highlight mixed into the foundation, I knew that I wanted my contour to be really, really deep, to just pop, you know? And so I'm just pressing, I'm going back in, back and forth into the product to apply so that I'm in control of how much I'm using, how much I'm taking from the actual pan onto my face. You can definitely use a sponge and find success in applying this. I just wanted to have more control by using this brush, but you can certainly take a sponge and do that. And actually comment and let me know if you prefer to apply your cream contour with a brush or a sponge, because both can really come out beautifully. And now I'm going to contour the nose with some of this product. And let me go on the back of my hand. I'm not being too overzealous because this might come out really, really dark. And I'm pressing it on in just putting it in place essentially. And then I will blend. So press, press, press to put it down. And then we're going to blend. This face is looking so juicy. If you have mature skin and or like I said, prefer to look dewy, juicy, this routine right here is definitely one for you. All right. And then using the cleanest angled side of the sponge, I'm going to press. If you've been here, you already know we are going to press to avoid lines of demarcation, <laughs> twisting it this way to keep the sponge in the same position as it was on the cheek. So so this bottom part is where the concealer was and the top is where the contour was, okay? And then right here, pay attention, we're gonna keep it in the same position as well. Now it's the top part where the concealer was and then the bottom part where the contour was. But either way, it is exactly the same so that you see there are no lines of demarcation. Boom, 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 hello. All right, so now for the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finish Loose Powder. Let's use this and this is brand new. Open this up and use this under the eyes. It's not going to add more color. I would like to lift the highlighted areas with a yellow powder. I have one from Huda, but I don't think it's going to be yellow enough. So I'm not going to lift it like I would like to. Lift it meaning brighten it some more. We're just going to have to go with this and that's okay too, okay? Wow, this is very, very white and it's making a mess. I imagine, however, that it is very, very finely milled and it'll still look good, I imagine. All right, I'm going to use these Huda Beauty cute little powder things, these powder sponges that I got. This is so funny. This is a tiny one and then this is the big one. This is the big mama and the other one is the baby. Isn't that so funny? Okay, so now I'm doing this to make sure that the concealer hasn't settled into the natural wrinkles under my eyes, okay? Natural because it is natural. And making my face like this, <laughs> taking some of the product and quickly get in here. And this is really cute. <laughs> I gotta press it onto my hand well so it's not falling off. Interesting. Okay, this is my second time using such a sponge. I have the black ones from Amazon. Like I said, everything will be linked below. It's falling out of my hand, my, out of my finger. So I had to reposition real fast. Come on, I wish this was tighter. Should I put two fingers in here? That's annoying me. I, I, I wouldn't wanna do this again. It was falling off and annoying me. That's number one. And then number two, like, I just feel like with a brush, I can move faster. I tend to use these days the Sigma 
a soft blend 60 brush. And not only that, I need to wipe off this excess. It's looking patchy. Wait a minute. Oh. Um, let's apply this product with a brush instead. Getting off some of the excess. And let's see. Yeah, I prefer this with a brush instead. Cause then it really looks, you know, loose and normal. <laughs> You know, I'm just gonna go all over the face right now at this point, because my face is very greasy. Yeah, okay. I don't like how, I don't like how that under, oh, heck no. Okay, I think that the powder is good. I just don't like that sponge. And that's why I don't do that sponge. I did it one time and I wasn't a fan. I prefer to just lightly apply these powders under the eye like this. It just melts better. And I'm going over my eyelids to take away the shine because I like to apply my brow product when it's dry and not wet. Okay, I do have this Bare Minerals Bare Pro. This came in recently, literally this week. Bare Pro 16 hour perfecting powder foundation. This is deep 60 neutral. I'm thinking of using the shade to set my contour. I don't really want to set it. I want to intensify the contour. It's not the darkest that it could be, but let's see if it does something to deepen the contour. This is the powder foundation that I'm using to deepen my contour. You know, this is the Sephora 59 Pro Powder Brush and taking some of this and just going over here. Now this may give me a natural deepening, you know, nothing too wild because this shade isn't that dark. Yeah, it just looks subtle. Like it's there, but it's not wildly deep. And I'm gonna fix we're gonna get to that. It's not wildly deep, but it's there. Let's go under the chin. And honestly, because the shade is not that deep in a good way for this look right now, I'm gonna take some with that same brush that I used to intensify my nose contour. Now this one's gonna show. Yeah, this is giving subtle contour vibes. And wow, this nose contour is sharp. <laughs> usually come in and do this on the nose now. Wow, hi. <laughs> I normally leave the nose, wow. So this is the part of the show where I do a face powder and I'm gonna go with this one because it's reminding me of the Patrick Star one that I like, it's not here, but something warm. It looks really light on the camera. It's not that light in person, okay? I, we gonna just go over all this lightly, same Bare Minerals, Bare Pro situation. We're lightly going over everything to add some warmth and bring everything together. Especially this under eye tragedy. I hate how that looks. Oh my God. It just set it so much. It looks so dry. That setting powder dried out my, look at that. Oh no. Oh my God. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. When I turn to the side, why? I need a I need a setting spray. Can a set it, can a setting spray save this? This setting powder I think is good because it sucked my skin dry, but it accentuated this area that I now see needs to be exfoliated. This to me looks like dead skin that I now know tonight I need to exfoliate. Okay, that's number one. And maybe even right here, that's what I'm seeing. But number two is that it sucked my skin so dry that look right here, this looks so, cause when I was pressing it on, see it's better to just dust it on than to do that. Oh my God, should I take this off? What would you do right now? This is annoying. What if I had somewhere to go? Look at that. When I turn, Look at that. And this is the part of the show where a face powder or a powder like this would blend things together so nicely and that it doesn't even look like it's possible. What a tragedy. Let me go over it with some color right here in hopes that that'll take away the... All right, hold on. I do have this NYX Cosmetics Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Let's see if putting on a setting spray will take away the ashiness, because this usually does help. Let's try this out. Okay, I got my fan. Let's spray it now and see. Oh. Don't squeeze the face, okay? Look, face stay still. That's why the fan comes in handy to quick dry this whole process. Let me see how this is gonna spray out. It better not be, okay, good, it sprays out nicely. Now I sprayed a lot. <laughs> now I know how clients used to feel when I spray their face and then oh, put a fan on them. It takes your breath away. <laughs> All right, I'm stretching out my face because I don't want this to settle into the lines under my face. Let's turn this to level three and hurry up. How do we look? That cast 
is gone. Or do you see it a little bit? I mean, I'm looking in the viewfinder. It's not as terrible as it used to be. So I can salvage this. And that was a dewy spray. So ladies and gentlemen, I just showed you in real time how that would be fixed if you just had somewhere to go, just didn't know what to do. Make sure you always have a dewy spray on hand. I still see the atrocity right here, but we are going to move forward because I have things to do, okay? But that just gives you an idea on how you can salvage your look if you're looking like a chalky mess. Okay. Now I still like to highlight. So this is a product that I have already been using. This is a Rare Beauty highlighter in the color Flaunt. This is a pressed one. I'm gonna use this damp beauty sponge to apply it because I think it's gonna be cute. Taking some of the product on here and let's go above the lip like so. Just pressing it right here underneath the bottom lip. And then I turned it over to now go in the middle of the nose. I think it's pretty. <laughs> And then above, oh yeah. So usually I use a luminous setting powder. Today I haven't done that. So let me go in this area to just highlight that a smidge. One pounce, not so much in that dry freaking area cause I think it'll make things worse just like right up here. That's what's also different. I'm used to my under eye being more luminous and today it's not. I have to go down, I have to go down. That's what I do, I go down. Oh! Girl, talk about making it work and fixing it. I don't know, I can't see this side too well. I can't see it too well. I'm annoyed. Like it needs to come down, at least for me. But again, I'm seeing that dry skin right here. Yo, a dewy spray will really save your life, you feel me? So for the affordability price, again, link below, grab you one just in case. This still looks atrocious. Okay, moving on. Let's apply blush. I do have this Huda Beauty Love Fest blush. I feel like I've only used this one time. I have had this for some time. So let's use that and see how that looks. Now it is very orange. I thought I had another one. I'm using this MAC blush brush that I've had for ages. This is the shade Toasted Teen. Oh, it's a cream. I just saw on the back, toasted tangerine cream blush. Hold on. Oh, it is a cream, okay. <laughs> Don't use a brush with your cre cream blush. Wow, say that five times. Don't use a brush with your brush with your cream blush, brush with your clean, wow. Anyway, okay. All right, this is a cream blush. So I'm just wiping off what's on the side of this sponge and I'm gonna take some around and around because it has crevices. I don't want there to be a mark on this because it'll leave a mark on my face. And then starting right here in the middle of the cheek, let's go in circular motions and apply. Do you see anything? I don't know if I can see it or not. Is this even showing? <laughs> Watch me go outside and be like, whoa, I don't see it. Let me go on this other side. Do you see anything? <laughs> Watch y'all be yelling at me. Yes, we see it. And here I am like, what? Do you see anything? I feel like that took away. It looks very natural. It took away from my contour. I need to add more contour. Like what's going on right now? I'll tell you right now, this is not my most favorite makeup look at all. I'm going to give that away. I don't see anything. Huh, hold on. I'm gonna put another blush on. This is Benefit Cosmetics Krista. Oh, like Krista. That sounds like a name named Krista. Okay. And this is a uh, pinky peachy type shade. Let's see if this shows on me. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. Okay, let's step off the excess and go on this side. Oh, wow. Oh, it has a fragrance to it. Lovely. Oh, heck no. What is this face today? <laughs> It looks pretty and frosty, but I'm not going for the, fr I wanna see the color. I wanna see color on my cheeks, not frost. Do you feel me? Jesus, lamb of God. Okay, that's gonna be a donation as well. Wow, okay. Uh, I need to contour again. Okay, let's take that other powder again, the Bare Minerals Deep 60 Neutral, and let's mm, bring some more contour into the back of it to help fade it a little bit. Honey, I do have two new brow pencils from Lawless. So let's see what they saying. One is cacao. Oh, they're both cacao. Okay, I didn't realize I had two cacaos. Okay, on one side we have the twist up situation, a nice thick stick. Then we have the spoolie. All right, let's see if cacao is going to show on me because you know that, oh, it's an oval shape. Interesting. All this time I've been using Charlotte Tilbury brow cheat in the color natural black. Oh, this shade is great. This shade is great for me. And I'm doing this very lightly because I didn't know how this would show on me. Oh, this shade is great. Okay. If you've used this brush, comment and let me know. Oh, nice. And it says in dry. I don't know if that's a function of me having already mattified my face with that Makeup Forever product or what, but I like how dry it is. I'm so tired of greasy looking brows, you know? Because this is so thick, that applied so easily. Not me finding the new brow pencil, what? 
Hey, Lawless, how you doing? Brows looking good, and mind you, this is how I like to do my brows. Everyone should do their makeup however they feel, okay? Don't DM me telling me you think it might look better if I do X, Y, Z, I didn't ask, okay? Praise the Lord. This is the Matte Cosmetics Paint Pot, and the shade I'm using is Soft Ochre. I can use my fingers now because I cut my nails down, hello? And I like to just apply it with my finger because it just gives me more control. This is a cream to, I would call it a powder. Yeah, cream to powder formula, and I just love how it grips the makeup. I used to work at MAC ages ago, and this is how I I would do my eyeshadow as I would always put down a paint pot. And even when I was taking clients, I would put down a paint pot. So it just makes sense to do that, you know. I got this eyeshadow palette in PR. It looks so beautiful and juicy. This is from Koki Cosmetics and it's called Goddess. I'm gonna use this shade in my crease and then go in with this one. I always do these steps so you have an idea. All right, I love to use a reddish brown color right here in the crease because you know it looks delicious on brown skin. So here we are going in left to right sweeping motions. Wow, this looks good. I have not used many products from Koki. So if you have, comment and let me know. And also let me know if there are some other things from Koki that you like and or want me to try in a video because for the price, this is really good. This is a drugstore eyeshadow palette. I'm feathering it back into the brow bone highlight so that there are no lines of demarcation. I know I'm going fast because I'm just used to this, but of course, take your time if you are a beginner at makeup. But essentially, you wanna isolate out where your crease is, which is between the eyeball and then the brow bone. I'm applying some more to build this up, and I do like to bring it into this area right here, which is where the contour is, and also into the front of the brow. Wow, it just makes it really dramatic and sexy because it further accentuates the nose right here. Lifting my brows in order to get this product in place. Yes. Now I have not done a halo eye in a long time and seeing these shimmery colors in here makes me wanna do a halo eye. So let's take some of this color and put it on the outer parts of my eye because then we're gonna go in with a darker brown and put that color right here, okay? So still on this reddish brown color and applying it right here, isolating out the middle of the eye. And now to intensify the crease, I'm gonna take this darkish, this dark brown color. It's looking cool, almost gray in undertone. So it can look a little bit black when using a shade like this. So go easy. I mean, I am in, I am making this really, really intense, but go easy because if you don't want it to be this intense, it will look this intense because it has a gray undertone, a cool undertone. If this were a warm brown, it would have a more orangey undertone, making it look warmer, you know? So feathering this out some more, and I feel like it just swallowed that reddish brown color, because it did. But let's take this and press it into the front of the brow right here. You see that? It just further intensifies the eye and just makes it more dramatic. And that's how I like for my eye crease area to be. But you may not want that. You can go a little bit lighter. Pressing, pressing right here in the front to again intensify that. Oh, it looks so dramatic and so pretty. Going with this reddish brown color color yet again, right here between the crease and the brow bone to just add some more dimension to this because it's just giving gray, you know. All right, feathering that out. And I feel like that's enough, except on this side. And I just do my best to get them equal. They ain't gonna be perfect, you feel me? I definitely went wild with the eyeshadow on this side. I would have liked less in the brow bone. I don't like it, I'm gonna fix that, hang on. Let's get some powder, Deep 50 Warm Bare Minerals Powder because it's a golden type color and it's lighter. And I'm gonna go over this to just bring back a lighter color over here. I don't want it to take away from the highlight that was over here, you feel me? Just correcting it. If you overdo, that's something you can do, okay? And then back with this this brush with leftover, just to make sure that there are no lines of demarcation. Taking this brown lightly, because I see how dark it is. Same brush, this is a random brush from, I can't even tell, Mod, Moda Pro, my like that. Just get a fluffy brush. You know, Sigma has them, Morphe, all the things. And just going over this a little bit to deepen it. Not too much, because this can look black. So there there's that. And then in the middle, we got some options here. I don't know if I should do gold, if I should do a, this color is looking like a wine, I don't know. Or maybe something lighter. This is a more 
Yellow gold, maybe I'll do yellow gold. Let's do the yellow gold, I think it looks pretty. All right, with my finger, you could do a wet brush and all the things, but we're just gonna go right in with the finger and right here, and I'm pressing left to right motions, not too much because I just made a mistake right there. <laughs> but not too much because we are trying to isolate the middle of the eye to create that halo effect, right? So same, take the finger on this side and we are pressing it right in here, gorge. You can take another finger, a clean finger around the outside, another clean finger to blend so that there are no harsh lines, you know? And I'm going over to apply some more, but then clean your fingers. Now, the crease color is giving more dark gray than I would prefer. So I took some of the reddish brown and I put it right here between the gold and that brown that looks gray to help it just blend a little better. So under the eye, again, with that reddish brown color, and this is a Sephora 14 brush, and we're gonna sweep this left to right under the eye. Tapping off the excess always because our face is done, okay? And this is not popping like it normally would because my highlight isn't as light as it normally would be. So this is Maybelline Tattoo Studio Liner in the shade 981 Bronze Glitz. I have not done a frosty highlighted under eye in a bit, so let's do that. And I am gonna go on the skin under my eye with black because I want it to look dramatic you know this is the revlon so fierce vinyl eyeliner and this is really dark and then i'm gonna smudge this out with a liner brush from mac been a long long time since i've done a liquid eyeliner so let's use this rare beauty perfect strokes situation okay we're just doing a lot of things today that uh, i'm not a fan of <laughs> i mean i might be a fan of this let's see this is the mascara i have a different mascara that i'm gonna use today but let's do this eyeliner okay perfect strokes matte liquid liner little pouch it comes in. Now, let's use this Koki mirror and do this eyeliner on top. Wow, the point at the front is really, really good. I mean, like, really pointy. These felt tip liner pens always concern me because I'm like, is it gonna get dry? Because I don't like that. When applying this on a frost like this gold, you definitely have to go over the same areas a few times because inevitably I am picking up some of the frost. Okay, wait a minute. I'm having to go over this so many times. Am I supposed to dip this back in? This is what I don't like. I gotta shake it. That's why I'll be doing these belt tips. What? The pointiness was cute, but that's annoying, you know? The tip of the felt whatever itself is not carrying enough product. And now my wing is a lot thicker than I initially wanted it to be. And then the felt tip is angled. It's like looking all jacked up. See, this is why I don't be liking this. This is why I don't be liking these felt tip situations. Dear God, let's do the other eye, hold on. Okay, JK, the mascara I wanted to use, I wanted to do where you can actually see what the results would look like. And this liner is way too thick to even do that. So let's just abort mission. The frosty pink that I used is more on the silver. This whole thing is not looking how I wanted to look, okay? I think we've already established that. Let's just go with this Rare Beauty mascara that came in the set, all right? Let's see what this one's talking about. Now, lashes, I think, saved the look a little bit. Ugh, you let me know in the comments below. I have already had this. So this one's not new. Rare Beauty liner, and it's a Kind Words liner. This color is strong. This been sold out. Y'all playing games. I like this one a lot. If you got a stash of those, <laughs> let me know. I'll give you my address, because you playing games. Love this chocolate color. So deep and so beautiful. And let's brighten up this look a little bit. I hope that this is going to do it. I need some pink. I don't want to do anything neutral. The eyes are looking too gray and neutral for me. So this is a Tom Ford lipstick and this is the color Pretty Persuasive, number 67. Look at this detailing on this Tom Ford lipstick. So beautiful. And now I'm gonna mess it up by putting it on my lips. I hate that. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Okay. Look, this is nice and creamy. I was gonna do a gloss, but I don't need to. This is so creamy. It's got a purple undertone. I like it. You know I love pink, okay? All right, that is creamy and delicious. I was gonna do this gloss on top. Should I? What do you think? This is so creamy already that I don't know. I don't do gloss enough. Let's do it. This is the Sephora gloss gloss and this is the shade Outrageous Intense and it's the number 02. Let's do this on top. I don't know if this is gonna like cancel it out or something. Oh, it just looks clear. There's no point of this. This looks clear. <laughs> oh, we're here 
already. Yeah, I don't wanna like wipe, see what's happening. When you put a gloss on top of something satin, it might end up wiping it off, but I'm already here. So I'm still, I'm still applying it. But this is a really pretty gloss to put on something that is more of a matte lip. All right, here we have the finished look. I want you to comment and let me know what you think. How do you, how do you think it all came together? Cause I felt like it was a little bit of a struggle. You feel me? I will leave two videos for you to choose from to watch after this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.